gosh. That's what I didn't expect it to be like that, but I'm glad. Oh man, he wasn't getting just you spun off the beginning. Oh, it was he. Was he losing power to top man? And I think the 5.0 was pulling top man. Let me see. Damn. That torque is like instant on that Audi. Let's see. A lot of them I usually see have top man. Oh, they just up? Okay. It looked like he's just like slowed down. Like, uh, that was just a great roll. Like, that was perfect. That's all we'll drive for you. Not real will. Yeah, he hit the brakes. But I don't think he was gaming like that. Yeah. Alright, next. Two of us in the car, we did a sick page. Found trip. Here we go. I love the paint too on the like on that Audi is just perfect. Perfect. There we go. Damn. Thank you. This is really close. Oh, 5.0 is pulling on him. Looks like he got a better start this time. Oh. Oh. R3 creeps. Oh. I don't even know. That was such a great race. Damn. Are they both stuck? Wow, he got him up top. Wow. Hey, that R3 is powerful up top. We gotta respect that. And you love seeing a powerful RS3. You love seeing... I just love seeing these. They're beautiful. But that is a fully built engine. So, I mean, it's not gonna be like it's an easy build. Um, full supported mods, all that. So... I was about to the last time because it wasn't recorded the whole time. And what I got right here in front of me is 2018 Audi RS3. Now, it's been a while since you've seen this car on the channel. Now, this is the one with the upgraded turbo. He is still on a stock camera, so pretty much maxed out. Um, he has not gotten down, but he says maybe somewhere around 700 horsepower. It could be a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, he's on full supporting mods. Okay. Uh, full turbo back exhaust system, 18 year cooler, running 85. And he weighs somewhere around 3,600 pounds. Now, I know these cars move out really well top end, so mm -hmm. his competitor uh, is also on a very fast top end car. Yeah, 10 turbo, 5 miles. Okay, we're against a 2019 Ford Mustang GT. Now, last thing I saw on the channel, we're still against the built-up RX. Now, he's on a twin-turbo Helion kit with a 55 millimeter turbo, running on open downpipes and full supporting mods on E85, and he is estimated to be somewhere around the mid-800 horsepower to the wheels. Now, he does have some weight reduction. Uh, I was getting into it. Don't get to here. 